friends and welcome back. Happy Sunday. We're going thrifting today at Goodwill. I have a gift card that I was gifted for Christmas this year and I want to go see what I can get with my little Goodwill gift card. But first, guess what? This Goodwill is right next door to a thrift store where we were just thrifting very recently at Be Thrifty and we saw this beautiful, amazing vintage Victor Costa gown that I did not thrift. I have been thinking about it ever since. Many people in the comments on that video were like, what were you thinking? Why did you leave it? So since the store is right next door to Goodwill, I'm going to pop in there really quick and see if that blue dress is still there. And if it is, we're going to snatch it up. It is 30% off today. If you come to this Be Thrifty on Mondays or Thursdays, you can get 30% off everything. And they always have tag sales. So maybe we'll get a 50% off tag sale but in any case we just gotta go see if this dress is there i'm trying not to get my hopes up but you never know so let's see what we can find i'm not seeing it let me take a closer look Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I was about to leave and then I thought I should check one more spot in the store where I noticed there was like a big mix of dresses and other pieces and I think it's there. Oh my God. Woohoo! Let me see. Not a sale tag, but it's still 30% off, so I'm getting it for $7. So I'm happy. I'm so stoked it's here. Let's buy it and then let's go to Goodwill. Ah, we're up to such a great start. I just had to drop the bag off in the car. Now we're going into Goodwill, and this location is usually pretty good with their selection, so let's hope the luck continues. Okay, so I'm excited to take a look. The only thing is the store is a little bit busy right now, so I'm basically gonna hop around to whatever section looks less busy, and we're gonna start in the dresses. reminds me of the dress I'm wearing right now. Okay, let me show you what I found in the dresses. This is a little satin Betsy Johnson dress. Super cute. I feel like this style is, it's a little bit timeless in a way, just black and white. Um, it's on sale, but probably too small for me. This one, I really like the print and the little balloon sleeve. Looks like a cute spring dress and it might fit me, so I might keep that in the cart. Then we looked at this one. Cool little vintage number. I'm gonna hold on to that for now. This is a cute little like embroidered dirndl. The brand is called Rose Dirndl. It, I just thought it was adorable, I had to show you. But that one's gonna stay here. This 90s like vintage dress with the rib knit top and the maxi skirt. Love the colors. I absolutely love this, but I think it's probably too small for me. It's like a medium, so eh, probably going back. 
This is a nice little Zara slip dress in a leopard print and it's still new with tags. Originally like $50, so it's a really good find, but it is an extra small, so it's going to go back. And this vintage dress I just thought was so fun. Like look at all the fun colors. Super drop waist here with this like crinkle material like the popcorn top fun but a drop waist is definitely not for me so that's gonna stay here and then last I've got this designer Su Wong dress still new with tags from Nordstrom originally $238 it's got these little button and flower decals and it is a hundred percent silk Okay, a couple of solid finds so far, and I'm gonna go next to wherever is not busy. <laughs> Looks like it's skirts. We are in the skirts and pants. Check it out, these are Madewell black skinny jeans with the high waist button fly. I've been looking for a pair like this on Poshmark, but this one is not my size. It's a little bit too big, it's a 36. But they are still new with tags, so it's a really good find. These pants are cool, they are velvet, and then they have this like pattern velvet tuxedo stripe down the side but they're almost kind of like joggers the way that they're cuffed but they have a lot of structure and they are, look like they are a nice Italian brand very cool too small this little denim like acid wash skirt caught my eye and it's an anthropology brand it looks like it's probably gonna fit and it's in good condition just not a hundred percent in the style but I don't know I do like the cut of it so I'm gonna put that in the cart and think about it I put a few bottoms in my cart I am gonna show you everything before we leave that I'm everything that's in my cart but first I want to head over here into the tops because this section is empty right now so I got all to myself for the moment and there's a lot to go through so let's keep it going see what we find
cute little vintage vest and then I looked at the tag and I was like, oh, I already have that. <laughs> it's serving the Stanley Hotel in The Shining. <laughs> kind of cool. Okay, my card is super full, so I wanna show you everything I found so far. And I'm also gonna try on a few things that I'm not sure about and just kinda like weed it down and then we'll go look in the men's section and finish up. So first, this Western button up. This was one of the most exciting finds of the day. Like I just instantly fell in love with this fun print and I just, not sure about the material. Like it's a very stiff, thick material for a button up. So I'm gonna try it on here in a minute. Then I've got this vintage blouse with the oversized collar. It's got some beautiful button details, really pretty and flowy, very spring. So this one I wanted to try on as well. And then I found this Talbot sweater top. It's just a really good basic, I think, for spring and a pretty color, good quality. But I decided to leave it because it just it was a little bit too basic for what I was going for for the day. And then another cute little cropped vintage blouse with the oversized collar. Decided I'm gonna give this one a try, so I'll try this one on here in a minute. This is 100% silk, Liz Claiborne, beautiful cobalt color. It is a bit too small for me, but I wanted to show you because it's such a nice piece, a really good find. And a vintage Leslie Faye with these amazing buttons to match the sort of cobblestone animal print situation. This would make such a fun neutral to wear through the spring and summer, but I do have other pieces like it, so I left it found this beautiful beige silk blouse with some nice embroidered details, but it wasn't the right size. I just wanted to show you. And then a couple of fun printed blouses. I really considered these because they would be so amazing for like power clashing, which you've seen here. I've kind of been experimenting with that a little bit lately. And the c neutral colors, I think, make that kind of easier to pull off. This one, the second one especially, reminds me of like a B. Jones style top. I could totally see Beth styling something like this. And then I have this vintage Ann Taylor silk blouse with these amazing like horse bit print all around it. Looks like it could be a coach piece or something. Totally beautiful, not my size or even close, unfortunately, so I left it. I was also looking at some basics, um, in, especially in turtlenecks. So I've got a few turtlenecks here that I'm gonna decide. I found a Harley Davidson t-shirt that was in really good condition. Just thought I would show that for those who are fans of those kinds of tees. I know that there's like a lot of collectors out there, but I didn't need this one, so it stayed behind. And then another cute t-shirt with these daisies and butterflies. Looks like it could be a vintage piece, but there is a website on the tag, so probably not. Also love this sweater. I'm gonna try this one on. It is 100% cotton and really nice quality fun colors, so we're gonna give it a try. I found this oversized Abercrombie & Fitch sweater vest, super on trend type of item, but I decided to leave it because I already have a number of sweater vests, like it, it just felt like it wasn't the right time. A fun sweater from Liz Claiborne with all of these little tassel details. Really love this. Not in the best condition, or I do feel like I would've picked it up. It was a sale tag, so I think it would've been like $1.50 on sale. Super fun though, uh, really had to show you. I love the collar and of course like the tassel details which also go around on the backside. It's just an interesting piece. And a little sweet knit uh, embroidered floral top would be perfect for spring. But I did decide to leave it because I have enough kind of sweet pieces like this in my closet right now. And this one is almost like a crocheted top. This could be so fun to layer up uh, for the summer, especially like over crop tops or bandeaux or even like swim cover up situation. I found this lovely vintage oversized blazer. I'm gonna try this one on. It is a sale tag, so it'd be a really good price. And it looks like it's very well made, made in the USA. Also this little sheer sequin sort of kimono style 
robe cover up and I'm gonna try that one. And then this vintage skirt set, absolutely loved like instantly and I'm gonna show you that one a bit later as well. Also, again, these loungy kind of polka dot pants, uh, those are, I am heavily considering. They look like a really good basic item to pick up. Okay, I just had to kind of try a few things before I decide what I want to put back in that pile. It's a little awkward because I have my dress on, but here's the set. I think that's a winner. So as I mentioned, love the print of this top, but the material was just not great. It felt like a drapery or something. And I don't know, in the end, I decided that I wouldn't reach for it because it wasn't comfortable at all. This blazer, it is a really nice fit. I kind of think it looks very chic and it would be such a good basic, but I do already have a black blazer in my closet and I also felt like the sleeves were a little bit short. So I left this one behind, even though it was like $1.50. I really wanted this sheer top to wear on a upcoming beach trip, but I decided that I wouldn't get very much wear out of it outside of an occasion like that. So based on some of the other things I found, I ended up leaving it. This one is so pretty. I think I could find something in this style and really enjoy styling it for the spring, but this one is just a little bit too tight. Like the shoulders are a little bit too big, so pass. This one clearly was too small for me, so it's gonna be a pass, but I love how this is cute little cropped fit. I feel like I haven't seen anything quite like that, but not for me. I really debated this sweater because it was so nice and well-made, 100% cotton, fun colors. It would be great to style with a lot of different things, but I don't know. I found some other stuff I like better. I decided to leave it, but it was a tough call. I did kind of throw a few accessories in my cart. There's this little rainbow hat. It just like reminds me, I'm pretty sure I had something just like it in high school in the 90s. <laughs> And then I found a few cute little floral scarves. This one looks like pretty vintage to me, so I think I might grab that one and then leave the other one, even though they're both pretty. I just don't need that many. Then I found some shoes that I want to try. These little green velvet flats and these little kind of peachy blush colored velvet flats too. They're only five bucks a piece. And don't judge me, I am looking for flats for wedding shoes, so this could work. Okay, I'm excited because I'm finding the type of things that I don't normally go for here today, and I think I have some really good pieces. And I wanna go check out the men's section now, and the bags as well, and then I think we're all set. There's a leather coach bucket bag in this bright red I don't really see very often. It's tagged at 15 bucks not in the best shape but it definitely is still got a lot of life in it Ugh, if I didn't already have a really good red leather bag I might snag this This bag's super cute, but the buckle is damaged and broken, but the style of it I really like. And it's only five bucks, but because it's broken. <laughs> the men's section is like super light right now, you can see. So, I'm not really finding anything. Yeah, nothing for me in the men's section. It was really light today, but normally it's pretty good here. I found cool vintage t-shirts and sweaters and stuff, but I'm really happy with what I've got in my cart and I'm gonna show you everything and do a haul and styling when we get home. So I'm gonna wrap up here and we'll get to the haul next. Well, that was an excellent thrift day. Uh, first of all, we had that dress redemption moment with the Victor Costa gown. I'll show you everything here in a second. I'm excited about my haul overall from the Goodwill. It's very like well-rounded with the pieces, so it's gonna be fun to style them up for you here in a moment. I was just gonna explain because I think at the beginning of the video, I started out with the mindset that I was going to see like, what can I get for my gift card amount in the Goodwill? And then what I learned today was that 
Uh, the Goodwill gift cards only work within the chapter or like the region in which you purchase them. So mine is only gonna work in Southern Virginia Goodwill stores, which is not a problem at all because I love to thrift there. So we'll have to just do that concept in another video. Uh, I just wanted to explain in case you were wondering like, wait, what is the theme of this? Like it just kind of turned into a general thrift, but I am going to show you the haul and we will style the pieces as usual. So let's get into it. So first, let's check out this beautiful vintage Victor Costa gown. You know the story by now that I spotted this in that thrift store in a previous video. I think by the time this comes out, it'll be like two or three videos ago, but it was only a week apart when I went in the store. And it was so exciting that I thought I it wasn't there. And when I checked, I was like about to leave. And then I checked that other area of the store where there was sort of like a bunch of random stuff. Super glad I checked there because I could see from a distance this little beautiful blue tool peeking out. So the dress won't fit me. I'm not sure what size it is, but I'm gonna have my mannequin model it here for you. <laughs> By the way, this is random, but my mannequin doesn't have a name and I have like heard most people will name their mannequin something fun. So maybe I should take suggestions of what to name my mannequin. Could be fun. So the flutter sleeve, like the sheer layering, it is immaculate, the condition. And then it's got this beautiful little ribbon waist tie. I feel like if it was me, I probably would put the bow in the back. And then the bottom has like a matching satiny ribbon detail on the hem. This color is absolutely gorgeous. Here is the back of it. It has little fabric buttons up the back and then a hidden zipper underneath. Ah, so pretty. So pretty, so ethereal. Uh, it's probably pretty rare. I have not been able to find any other Victor Costa pieces quite like this online. And again, it was just so exciting to go back and find it still there because it was a huge regret for me the first time I left it. Now we're moving on to the Goodwill finds. I'm gonna start with this pair of loungy pants that I thrifted. These look like they're maybe a 90s brand in a size 2X. And they have this like tiny polka dot print through them. The material is like super stretchy all the way around. So they are a comfy, like kind of flowy lounge pant. Something about them looks a little bit elevated. They look like nice enough. This to me is like the perfect type of item to wear when you're traveling because you could be quite comfortable but look a little bit more polished. I also really enjoyed like the subtle pattern in it. So I wanted to try these so I could style them up with like a pair of clean white sneakers and a nice blouse or sweater. And again, have like a really kind of polished but comfortable traveling look. I think these were on the tag sale for the day, which means I got them for only $1.50. And you kind of saw in store that I was going through some of the basic turtlenecks. I have been wanting to add another basic black turtleneck to my collection because I layer them up all the time. And I have one black one that is always like getting worn as soon as I wash it. And I don't really love like stocking up on certain items, but if I found a good one. It was still new with tags. It's an H&M brand and one of those super thin knit ones. And these are just like the perfect style for me for layering. They're lightweight and to be like worn year round. So I just had to snag it while I found one that was so good. I kind of took a chance on this next piece with this acid wash denim skirt. It is from an anthropology brand, Porridge, and it still was new with tags. Originally it was $148 and of course I got it for $5.99 at the Goodwill. I've just been loving the mini skirt silhouette lately, so I really wanted to add another one to my collection, but I love how this is like neutral, but it's got some funky elements to it. It comes with a little denim tie waist, but it also has the regular belt loop, so I could just wear it with a regular belt if I don't want this extra like bow in the front. Just some cool features all around. Interesting enough to be d a different addition to my closet, but also I don't think it's gonna be difficult to style in any way. It feels like more of a basic piece. The other thing I'll look for in the mini skirts, I'll just say is that like this one has an A-line, how it flares out on the sides. I really, really enjoy that. Really excited about this find, this adorable skirt set. 
This has like a tiny black and white ditzy floral all over it. What I really loved about it, I love how the top is cropped. That's what really grabbed me. It brings it into like a modern look, a modern style. I can't tell for sure, but I think maybe somebody bought this as like a, a regular like full length top and cropped it themselves but they did an amazing job with the hem so I can't even tell for sure if this is like originally how it was manufactured by the company um, it's got a tiny little bow back here around the waist which is a great detail I like the oversized buttons and like the oversized collar it's just super cute it's super wearable and also I think it will get lots of wear out of the individual pieces because they will mix and match with a lot of other basics in my closet. That's it for the clothing, but I do have a few accessories that I grabbed. As I mentioned in store, I have been looking for pretty wearable flats uh, to possibly wear with my wedding dress. And I have bought some on Poshmark that I'm pretty sure are gonna be the ones, but I wanted to have a backup option and these are only $4.99. So these are velvet, they are like in brand new condition. I have some actually exactly this style I have saved on my Poshmark list right now too. So finding them in a thrift store in my size for $4.99, I just thought I would snag them and have the option. And I loved those green velvet ones that I showed you too, but I did leave them when I looked closely, inspected them, some of the stones were missing, like quite a few. So I decided to leave them. I really don't need like that many options anyway, but um, yeah. Okay, prepare yourself like really quick. I don't wanna like startle you with this next item because it's bizarre. Um, it is a fanny pack that has like the print out of a beer belly on it. <laughs> so you wear it like that. Um, so I thought it would make a really fun gag gift for somebody and I haven't decided exactly what yet. Since it was just $2.99, I don't know. I just got it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I had to get this beer belly fanny pack. <laughs> I want to bring you in close, like it's, it's, it's a little hairy. <laughs> Thrift store things. <laughs> and the last thing is a little more normal. It's this green and pink rose scarf. I think it's vintage. It's got no tags or identifying marks on it, but either way, I just loved the bright colors. I think this type of scarf, it, because it stands out so much, is the perfect style to like tie onto a handbag for a little pop of color. But it's also big enough, I think I'd be able to tie it in my hair. So I just wanted to see what I could use it for, basically. I just fell in love with the colors on it. It's so pretty. <laughs> just kidding. And there were like three other ones that were kind of similar in that color palette that you saw in my cart. I really wanted them all, but the truth is I just don't have a use for scarves as much. So I felt like I had to just pick my favorite and go with it. <laughs> okay, that's everything. Thank you as always for coming thrifting with me. This was a really fun one. Again, super happy with that haul. It's like very well-rounded. I think I'm gonna get tons of use out of all of these pieces. So if you like this video, as always, you can give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I post new videos every Sunday and sometimes I have bonus content during the week. So if you turn on your notifications, you won't miss a thing. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here and all of your wonderful support on this channel. Like, I love it here. And I hope you do too. Let's do it again next week. I will see you then for another video.